The first series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Lana Vosser. And it begins, Over the past few weeks, the Lord has been highlighting fathers to me, and I wasn't exactly sure why. Today, as I was spending time with the Lord, I felt the Lord give me clarity on what He was saying. There is an attack on fathers right now. Men of God that carry the heart of the Father and are called to be fathers in a body of Christ. The enemy is going after many of them in full force. He is attempting to steal, kill, and destroy. And as I sat with the Lord, I heard the Lord saying, Cover the fathers so they can go farther. And the sense surrounded me that right now the intercessors need to rise up and cover the fathers to conceal any assignments of the enemy against them, cover them in the blood of Jesus and decree life and breakthrough. Battalions of warrior angels are being sent to war over and for the fathers right now. I saw many fathers in a place of transition and about to move into increase and extension. The word farther boomed in my spirit again the definition of the word farther is to go a greater distance go to a more advanced point extending and tending to a greater distance there is a significant promotion being released upon fathers in the faith and those who are called to be fathers to the next generations fathers to movements and fathers in society the Lord is moving them to a greater level of advancement, a greater level of extension, and an increase in what they are called to, uh, called to put their hands to. The enemy knows that this promotion is upon the fathers and he is hitting hard. But as the fathers are covered in prayer and intercession, these assignments will be broken and they will go farther than they ever have before. They are about to be propelled further forward into their destiny than they ever have been. These attempts of the enemy to hold them back and steal, kill, and destroy from them as the people of God pray and cover them, these attacks will be turned to catapult them further and with greater anointing than they have experienced before. I also saw the Lord raising up fathers in the body of Christ in this season, and through the fathers being called and stepping forward, there was a great healing coming to the body of Christ. Malachi 4 verse 6 the orphan spirit losing its hold as a father's heart of love, acceptance, wisdom, nurture, covering, and encouragement is imparted and manifested. The enemy is attempting to stop this from happening, but he will not succeed. I believe the Lord is releasing a warning and an urgency to cover the fathers because breakthrough is upon them. Today, as I have spent time with the Lord, I felt Him wanting to encourage His people who are walking through trials, hardships, and are feeling weary and weak. I kept hearing the words, I will show myself strong on your behalf. I will show myself strong on your behalf. 2 Chronicles 16, uh, chapter 16, verse 9 says, was quickened to me, for the eyes of Adonai move here and there throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those who are wholehearted toward him. The sense surrounded me of the faithful help of God. His eyes were roaming the earth looking for the faithful, and he saw the trials, opposition, and weariness many of them who have kept him as their anger and first love have endured lately. There was such a strong sense of, of the defense of God, the protection of God, the vindication of the Father, and the strength and empowerment of the Holy Spirit. I saw many in this place of weariness that are now seeing the great breakthrough and door after door being open, uh, beginning to open. But this weariness, both from the journey they have walked and the attack from the enemy, are feeling this strong sense of, I don't know how I'm going to do this or keep up, coming to the surface. I want to encourage you. God is about to strengthen you significantly. There are deep encounters with Jesus upon you right now that are going to root and ground you in Him in a deeper way. You will know the refreshment of heaven, the refreshment and strengthening of the Spirit to not only carry you through these new doors, opportunities, and breakthrough, but with greater demonstration of His power and glory than you have ever experienced or seen before. Many of you have been searching and searching for him, seeking him out with greater hunger and thirst. He has heard your cries and he is coming. 
James 4 verse 8, you will find him as you have drawn close to him and he is going to restore your vision. Heal and blind up, heal and bind up your broken heart. Restore your soul and strengthen your physical body. The Holy Spirit is going to rest on you in more power than you have ever known before. He has prepared you for this season. He has prepared you for such a time as this. The things that have been going on around you, he knows have been difficult and so draining, but he is about to turn things right around. Things are being made right, the right alignments of heaven releasing his greater increase of favor upon you. Your revelation of him and his word is about to significantly increase. Your sensitivity to his spirit and leading is about to break through to a new level. You will see what you have been walking uh, what you have been walking has been a transitional time, not because you have missed anything, but because you are transitioning to a new realm, a deeper level of increase, a higher level of insight, wisdom and revelation and an extension of your territory and influence. The terrors of the night and the arrows that fly by day are not going to touch you or harm you as you have made him your dwelling place. Psalms 91. A lot of these dread whispers many of you are hearing are attempts from the enemy to lead you off the track of life and into oppression. But keep yourself deep in a word. This assault is about to break and break open a new level of encounter with the heart of God and manifestation of the new day he has been preparing for you. I hear the sound of freedom. You will not go without. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Psalms 34 verse 10 There are rivers of provision that are bursting forth into your life. The enemy has been coming like a thief in the night to steal, kill, and destroy, but he is being exposed and his attempts revealed as smoke and mirrors. As you have sought the Lord and continue to seek him, you will see the rivers of provision come crashing in. He is going to show himself on your side and strong on your behalf. Recently, I saw huge mountains that were rising up in marriages, unresolved issues, communication blocks, hurt, pain, grief, amongst many other issues were springing up. I saw the enemy coming into these areas, finding these mountains and attempting to accelerate the vision. There is much dross coming to the surface in marriage right now because God is doing major healing in marriages. The enemy also knows this and is coming into these areas to attempt to bring a great divide. I had a vision where I saw Jesus standing before these mountains and he spoke. Now is not the time to withdraw. Now is not the time to hide or run. Now is the time to stand. I am performing miracles in marriages. I saw a powerful move of the Spirit of God moving in hearts, bringing about radical supernatural transformation, where the enemy has attempted to bring about an acceleration of division. The Lord is bringing an acceleration of deeper union. In this vision, I saw Jesus speaking again, and he said, Use your tools. The sense surrounded me that the Lord was encouraging his people to continue to use the tools he had given them in the word, honor, love prayer and the like, and other tools he was highlighting, whether it was counseling, prayer ministry, etc. I watched as the people of God battling for their marriages continue to use the tools that the Lord had given them. The wind of his spirit was increasing and orchestrating. I watched the wind of the spirit blowing in the background and under the surface. Even if nothing is being seen in a natural yet, the sense was so strong, God is moving. I then saw major miracles taking place, major testimonies being birthed, marriages that many were at the point of being given up on and a way through couldn't be seen. I saw the Spirit of God bringing radical healing and restoration. I saw couples that were at breaking points meeting their turning point and a radical transformation and miracle taking place. Their stories and testimonies then being used to minister to help, encourage, and bring healing to many others. I felt the Lord saying many are standing and contending for their marriages, but have been feeling discouraged, hopeless, and despair is, in, uh, is entering. But I felt the Lord say, hold on, keep standing, it's not over. I am the God of the impossible. I am breathing life back into dry and dying marriages. The winds of resurrection power are blowing and landing. I have sat on this word for quite a while. 
and pondering it with the Lord and really praying it through. I am releasing this word now as it has been stirring strongly in my spirit for a while and I feel the Lord wants to bring encouragement to his people amidst all the turbulence happening right now in the USA. As I was spending time with the Lord recently, the turbulence happening in the spirit and in the natural over the USA right now, and the burden I have been carrying in my heart because of all I am seeing going on in a nation and a church came flooding back to me again. As I lay there in worship, I heard such an incredible sense of the invitation, invitation from the heart of God to be agreeing with what he is declaring. The atmosphere all around me felt electric and pregnant with the invitation to partner with the Lord in declaring victory over the USA right now more than ever. The sense surrounded me of the incredible war and the spirit that is taking place and the enemy is not happy and doing all he can to pervert, to steal, to kill, to destroy all in attempts to foil what God is declaring and inviting his people to declare right now and see manifested. Victory. I have spent a while sitting um, sitting on what I heard and saw in that time with the Lord and have been in deep intercession for the beautiful nation of America and for God's people in the, in the nation. As I was praying about what I heard and saw in that time, days later I heard the words, People of the United States of America, agree with me as I am now building an undercurrent of victory. The word undercurrent was highlighted so clearly to me, so I looked at the dictionary definition of the word, and it is as follow. An underlying feeling or influence, especially one that is contrary to the prevailing atmosphere and is not expressed openly. Current of water below the surface and moving in a different direction from any surface, uh, surface current. To not be swayed, deceived, or distracted by current atmosphere or the atmospheres that feel like they are prevailing, God is doing things below the surface. God is setting things up. He is moving. He is orchestrating things. And your prayers and agreements with what he is doing is powerful. His spirit is like that current of water below the surface that is bubbling and building momentum to move things in a different direction to what is being seen on the surface. A definition uh, a definite demonstration of Zechariah 4 verse 6. So he said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. This is why it is imperative that the people of God have eyes to see and ears to hear in this season, because what is happening in the natural is not the true reality. What he is doing in the spirit, what he is doing below the surface, what he is saying that is reality, and the people of God must be positioned as an echo of what he is saying over the United States right now. A partnering with the spirit is crucial, is saying uh, sorry, uh, a partnering with what the Spirit is saying is crucial. I believe he is decreeing life and victory. He wants life and he wants victory. He wants freedom. He wants healing and restoration for the United States of America. He wants to usher in a move of his Spirit in this nation that has never been seen before. He wants life and not death. As I sat uh, taking all this to the Lord, I saw a host and host of angels being sent into the United States, but they were going in stealth. They were under the radar, and the Lord positioning them in strategic trigger points across the nation. They were sent with a specific purpose and assignment, and they had landed and were stationed and waiting for the Lord's command to activate, that which he was planning and releasing. The sense surrounded me that the Lord has victory up his sleeves. Just when the enemy thought he had won and brought chaos, death, and destruction to the nation, God will release the command to these angelic hosts and strategic trigger points will be activated and a domino effect of victory will take place. What he has been planning and strategizing behind the scenes will manifest. Where man is attempting to pull the current in a certain direction, the Lord is building and increasing the divine undercurrent to release victory, but we must intercede and agree with his victory. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Ellen. And it begins, The Father says, Find this day the enemy of your soul running for cover. What was gripping you by the throat is being destroyed. What stole your voice is coming to an end. Do not shrink back any longer. It is time for you to roar. Let my spirit flow inside and the fire of my words charge out from this day forward. 
After all, what can man do to you when I am your rear guard? You are not a withering flower. You have all of the power of my kingdom behind you. The days of people taking advantage of you are closing. Pay attention to this vital change so that you do not walk in old patterns of thinking. I am working out all that has kept you bound and you will walk in freedom and the natural and also spiritually. The enemy sought to make you ineffective in the territory that I have placed you, but this will be no more. Listen to my voice and advance as I have placed in your spirit to carry out. There will be justice. I have promised not to leave you without. Trust that I know the right moment to come through even when you desire an answer today. It is your heart that I seek to heal this day. Regardless of what transpires in my courtroom, a wounded heart will slowly cause problems across many areas for you. Let me mend what you thought was even unfixable. I will be gentle. Release the outcome to me. Allow me to take you to a place where you no longer have to concern, no longer have to concern about those issues from this day forward. Believe that you can let go and it will happen. Not everything is a lifelong roadblock. I have promised to take you from glory to glory. And now is the moment I will show you just how this looks in ways that you never saw as glory filled to begin with. I am painting a beautiful masterpiece in you and with your life. Even when you feel you soiled the picture, I am faithful to touch up and finish this completely. Trust that I am for you and tomorrow we will soar beyond the clouds. The righteous will fall, but it is what one does after that which leads to victory or defeat. For the righteous falls seven times and rises again. Are you rising again? This is what I have called you to do. The enemy will push you down and look to bury you in your sorrows and regrets. Enough. I am breaking through in this hour to free those who are unable to free themselves. Others may look on with judgment, but you just look straight at me. You may lose your balance from time to time, but I am here to pick you right back up again. I know what day today is. Your days are already written before me. I even know how many hairs are on your head. We are going to do amazing things together. You just need to, to decide for this to be your goal. My answer is yes and amen. Settle that in your heart. Be swept away this day by my goodness. All of your needs are prepared and ready for what is to come. What is to come is still a mystery, but you will find that as you embark on this, that your feet seem to hover and float over obstacle after obstacle. Shift your focus. Do not worry and fret about the latest mountain, for it is merely a molehill to me. Take the time to look at the things through a fresh lens. What is happening is important, but maybe not in the way you imagine. Let me settle all let me settle out the mess into what it will be. You are being made into my son's image through what has happened yesterday, today, and will be tomorrow. Decide not to let your heart grow bitter for at the right time and moment, I will use this for an amazing outcome that you will not anticipate. I see the pain and tears, but I will replace that with joy and favor. Give this apparent lack time to come into full harvest, for in due season I will pour out repayment that you have never seen before, and the interest alone will carry you for the rest of your life. Be still and know that I am God. You are in the land of discovery. This is your season. No longer wandering the dry and desolate soil, you are seeing the land of fertility. What you plant will grow and let no weed crowd out the goodness sprouting up. Milk and honey are in abundance and flowing fully for my joy and my good pleasure. The latter shall be greater than the former. Let that sink into your way of life. You control how things fall around you through your attitude. Take up the attitude of a winner for you are more than a conqueror. My love is expanding in and through you. Just perceive what I am doing this day. 
Do you not need to you do not need to strive to find my love. It is available always and you are increasing and in being able to receive more and more. I am taking you from a poverty and living in lack mindset and to knowing the, that greater is coming on the horizon. What seemed like a denial was just a lie for the enemy camp. When you shift your belief system to one that knows that you know that you know that I am your heavenly father looking to give out blessing and favor, you will finally come to a place that I have desired you to live by. People will tell you to forsake this, but I say, who do you believe? Who benefits from you living out of the best that I am capable of doing for you? I am the same God I gave all to Adam and Eve. Nothing of good did I keep from them. Decide that this is where you need to be each and every day. Just open your arms so that I may fill you up. I have no performance scale. Let me be the force that changes you from the inside out for my glory and honor. This just requires that you yield to my guidance and pruning. I will mold and make you. You will love how, th how this journey goes. What do you have to lose? The more you come into my presence, the more you will realize just how much special care I have over you since the day you came forth by my voice. Many find it difficult to know and feel my love because of how others have treated them. Beloved, let me show you just how it is to experience pure love that only I can impart to you. Once you travel down this road, there will never be another road more desirable. Your very core will want to give out what you have laid witness to. My people are about to explode with a new vision for what is for today and this age that we are in. Embrace what has come and what is here. You have rights and entitlements as citizens of heaven. Tap into what is yours. I am calling my people to step out in faith and just watch how I show up on your behalf. You are not weak, and the enemy surely underestimates you. Call down what is yours. Command what is not to be. By your prayers and decrees will you shatter the forces of darkness. Step into my presence and proclaim my glory over the earth. You are walking into a time where healing, signs, wonders, and miracles become more and more commonplace among my people. Just believe. You already have what the world desires and desperately needs. To see for yourself, you must cast aside what is blinding you. People say that I change not, and with the same breath, claim that what was for the church in the New Testament has faded away. Does this seem reasonable to you? Did I stop pouring out your rights and entitlements? How can one explain why my spirit still performs and operates as it did long ago then? It is time to take out the shovel and bury once and for all the lies and false beliefs taught through religious minds. I am the God of yesterday, today and tomorrow. There is no other. It is the truth that I change not. But I also release new things in you, through you, and all around you. The vastness of who I am is far beyond what could and will be comprehended by my creations. I only needed to create a way once through the Red Sea, but that does not mean that I stop creating the way for every need and adversity that you face today. My people, wake up, for you are at the dawn of a new day. Forsake the limited mind and open yourself up to the impossible becoming possible. I am right here with you, fighting the battles and proclaiming the victory. You are rising up. Even when things appear to be moving in the wrong direction, choose to see and know that you are about to behold what your heart has longed for. The angels have sounded the trumpets. Change is here. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Kathy Moat, and she begins, I am seeing the fall of great plans the enemy have for you. In his evil heart, he has covered the land with thick, dark smoke. Lying tongues and evil spirits have ruled and run over the people with great confidence. But this is what the Lord says to you. I have uncovered his plans. I have sent great winds of change that the great tides will turn. The smoke will clear and none will be deceived. 
A great release is about to happen, for truth and righteousness will no longer be held back. Left on a battlefield will be my beautiful ones, standing with their faces toward, uh, turned toward me. And at their feet will be the burned and broken pieces of the enemy. I declare peace in these lands, and peace you will see. Let the children of the mighty one turn and make a stand. Righteousness now reigns in their land, for the Lord has spoken through them. Stand and speak my will. Stand and agree with me and declare what you know is my will. Pray for deliverance and my judgment over your president, Congress, and Senate, and you will have a righteous judge over you. Declare a righteous thing for your lands and in your country and speak righteous judgment over it. Agree with me and you will receive. And through the authority I have given to you, you will see this through. And the dew of your mouth, you were reviled, but you were precious to me. From the first day I have called your name and you have always been coming to me. The hatred and rejection you have endured is caused by jealousy. The enemy is quite jealous of you because you belong to me. I will take you up and comfort your heart and remove all the hurts in your feelings. I will, I will replace the hurt and damage done to you with warmth and an understanding of how I see you. You are beloved, and it is my desire to see you smile with the same delight that I feel when I see you. Rest and know that in the days to come I will restore the warmth in your heart and all of your tender feelings. In the midst of everything the enemy throws at you and all that hurts and humiliates, you are like a child laying at my feet. You trust me with your hurt, which is no small thing. This is what I say to you. I will make your enemy be at peace with you. As you lay your, your heart before me, you will know great peace. You will watch your enemy lay at my feet like a dog that has been called to heal. So shall he cease his harassment against you as you put your trust in me. As you abide in me, this is what I will do. I will make a peaceful environment for you. I will give unceasing comfort to you. I will make a peaceable way for you. For in my presence, you are called to be and nothing will take you away from me. There are those who will, and they hear the truth, turn and revile you. It is from their own place far away from me that they have reviled themselves, and it is with a bitter heart that they revile you. Offer them your forgiveness, and share with them my love, and like a fisherman you will reel them in. The days are upon you that lives will be saved and souls will be won as you walk in my spirit. So don't take it lightly and don't be offended. But be like my precious one sent on an errand, and bring the truth to them. It isn't, uh, it isn't you they accept or reject, it is me, and I sent you to tell them. It is now time, rise and shine. This is your now moment, and a turning point, and in it you will decide. I have sent, you a, I have sent to you a pure current of life, and before you it now glides. It is refreshing, cleansing, healing, and in it you will ride. This is your now moment. It is now time. You are called to stand and do great miracles in the lives of others as well as yourself. You are called to call down fire and water to purge, heal, and cleanse. You are called to raise the dead and heal the sick. You are called to stand as one healed. Much have you faced, and training do you already have, but there are many things you are called to accomplish. So don't balk at the trial in your own flesh. Make up your mind to stand, and then stand. You are called to heal the sick. You are called to minister deliverance. You are called to walk, you are called to walk in great strength. Make up your mind to take up courage and strength. You will not falter in the days ahead, for you stand in my strength. You are in my hands, and I do not fail. I am the way to victory, and beyond me there is no strength, no peace, no breakthrough, no owning anything. And what you face, I am your strength. And what you see, I am the way through. And what you seek, it is in me. I call you to submission today, for in submission you are in me, and in me you have everything you need. 
You are tempted to repeat what you see to keep what you see, but if you resolutely keep your eyes on me, victory is what you will see. Peace is what you will keep. What someone else says and does is not from me, and it is not your, your scenery. It is not what you believe. If you react to that, is it your defeat? This is faith. To submit to me, to set your heart and mind on me, and to react to me. This is peace. To remain in me, to believe, to receive, to bear the fruit of your faith in me. Don't be dismayed by what you see. What you see will change as you trust in me. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by name of Linda Linkus. And it begins. The enemy has this day made new assignments against your life. He has assigned dark forces to torment you in new ways. You must cancel these assignments in my name or they will come to fruition. Will you allow him to stop you doing all I have called you to, my child? Will you allow him to continue stealing your hope, your peace, and your joy from me? You must stop him. I have left for you weapons of warfare that have every ability to stop him. But it is up to you to put those weapons to use. Win the battle and be free. My people feel stranger and stranger in the world. You know you are not of the world around you. And the difference between you and those who are not mine increases with every day. It is precisely this difference that all shall see at the end becomes nearer. For my light shall arise and shine through each of you who seek to do my will and not your own. I will use you in these, day, in these end days to touch souls for me, to help those who dwell in darkness to come out into my glorious light. Your time is nearing for you to be called home to me, and such a glorious day it will be. Be strong and courageous. There is nothing for my own to fear. Endure patiently. Walk in my ways and all will be well with you. Everything you went through was for my purpose in your life. Everything you have walked out has been for me. I will now use all I have taught you to touch my people. I am taking you into a good life, a life of peace and of blessings for the time you have left in the earth. Yield to my work in you now that we may do this thing together. My thoughts of you and my plan for you are exceedingly good to bless you and give you an expected end. So many of my children do not understand when they walk through difficulties that so many of them are allowed by me for their refinement to teach them to draw closer to me, to increase their dependency on me. When you depend upon the world, your life will change with each change that occurs there. But if you depend only on me, there is never need for concern, for I am always the same. I change not. My love for you never lessens. Allow me to do the work in your heart to teach you to depend only on me. Lean on me and be blessed. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Diana. As she is sharing with us after she had a dream and began praying and worshiping God. And the Lord spoke on behalf of what she went through in that dream experience. And now she is sharing it with the body of Christ for this is a reflection of how the Lord is with us. And it begins, Fear not, my loves, for I shall be with you in all things. Remember that, my children. Remember that I shall never leave nor forsake you. Remember that I hold you in the palm of my hand. Remember the words that I have given unto you to stand upon, for they are words of safety, shielding you from all aggression and progression of the enemy. Hold fast, my loves, for times are coming where great darkness will abound and your eyes will see many things that you have not seen before. When I say go here or go there, linger not, my children, but go and stand in the place that I have prepared for you. When I call your name, come forth, my loves, in the manner that I describe for you, provide for you, for you will see great and mighty things, majestic things. Hold fast, my loves, for the time is quickly approaching. The days you have waited upon for so long are now arriving into your atmosphere. Look ahead and see that I am with you and walk amongst you, clearing the path ahead from all unrighteousness. My ways upon man upon the earth will be seen and justified in the coming days, sanctified by my hand and forging their way through the darkness. My children, among the world, 
among those who wish them evil, who desire them dead, who cannot stand to look upon them, who race away from their presence, who hide their eyes from their glory. These are the these are those that I shall make stand before me in the days of judgment. My hand upon all things, comforts all things, controls all things, will not be put aside by any power opposing it. There is none other than I, my children, and I shall bring you through, unscathed, unharmed, and with the glory of the Lord upon you. Hold fast now, for the time is quickly approaching, and I, and I shall be amongst you very soon. Shalom, my doves. The next series of prophetic messages comes from a sister by the name of Evelyn. And it begins, My dearly loved, turn your mind and heart toward me. I am the calm in the roaring sea. I am your peace in times of chaos. I give you courage when you are afraid, and I strengthen you when you are weak. True joy is found in me. All sadness flees in my presence. You are not without help or hope. I am all you need. Out of me flows all things. Can you trust me? Do you know my eyes are upon you? I see the smallest details of your life. Do you trust in my great love? Do you trust in my mercy? I will make all things right. I will bring justice. You can trust me in this storm. All things will work for your good in the end. Resist all fear. I go before you. I will not allow you to fall. Rest in me. I am in control. Your victory is sure. Trust me in all things. This concludes the portion of our prophetic messages from the Lord that has transcripts. Um, for those without transcripts, you can see the link below that would take you straight to the page. And it also have the URL attached to it where you can click the URL and it'll take you straight to the pages. Uh, thank you all for listening in. I pray that the Lord will continue to uphold you and keep you strong in these last days that we are in. For indeed, we're all facing many trials, but the Lord is able to deliver us from them all. So I pray that the Lord continue to bless you and keep you and let somebody know if they're not saved that it's never too late to board the ark. And if they need any help at all and ask to like some basic instructions, I left the link there also in the transcripts that will give you the basic principles of salvation. I This is the same teaching that helped lead me to Christ back in 2002. Um, and so this also can help others as well. I did it probably about three years ago and has been pretty effective in helping people come to the understanding of who Jesus Christ is and what salvation is about. As I mentioned before, it won't be completely perfect because I'm not a perfect man when I speak, but the heart of the message will still be there. I love you all. May God continue to bless you this day.